yo what's going on guys it's your boy sister here brings a video here today for you guys a photoshop tutorial how to create your own cool really updated professional looking overlays face cam overlay. i'm gonna go with face cam overlays because really i wouldn't say overlay i would when i think overlay nowadays i just think webcam and that's about it because honestly if you're a creator and you're looking to get some in like you're looking to get into that community and whatnot i would tell you guys that those overlays that kind of overhang above everything and whatnot you have your name your twitter your all, all that kind of stuff that creates um, it creates a lot of clud, it creates a lot of clutter, it creates a lot of distraction to the actual gameplay. So if you're looking to do overlays, I would say if you're not a face cam user, what fine, but I would say keep it very, to a very, very minimal, right? I would say maybe put a box under your webcam, put all the stuff that you want under it. That'll look way, way better. And regardless, even though I don't have that in today's video pre uh, presentation, regardless, once you kind of figure out how to do this actual overlay here, doing that little piece will be very, very easy for you guys. So if you guys want to see this difference in depth and quality is quite insane. Very, very nice. I love Love what I have, like what we got going on here. Um, layer styles will use kind of like a little bit, um, and like two major part of the parts of the things. Um, so I guess I'm going to be giving you guys away those two different layer styles. It's very easy if you guys want to go ahead and just download that in the description down below. You can do so. Um, but yeah, here's the difference. You can see the depth here, the overall just like kind of feel you get with these little cool little like uh, I'm going to call them like triple vents. We'll call them vents. Um, a cool little place to put your logo. That can put your name in there if whatnot. If you make the the circle a little bit different. Um, but yeah, you can see the difference here. This video did very, very well, by the way, when I first did this face cam overlay. Um, probably because, like, the whole really cool vibe you get with these really cool sharp lines and whatnot going out and whatnot. But I would say you can still do the same exact thing. I just didn't want to choose to go that route because, honestly, it's a little bit too distracting. But if you do something like this, it looks really cool. But if you want to, once you kind of get this hanged out and you kind of figure this whole thing out, doing this little part of it, I guess when you call this, like, we're going to call it, like, the little Batman little accents, right? Um, it's not too hard whatsoever. So, hope you guys do enjoy the video here today. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. As always, guys, let's go ahead and actually leave a like on the videos. We haven't been, like, hitting even close to 150 recently. It's kind of, it's yeah, it's like, what the hell? Um, we getting the views, though. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe you guys are just getting a little lazy on that click and like button. But, regardless, turn likes to the video, you'll see down below. So, uh, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. And with all that being said, we're going to get this thing going. I know it's a little bit dark in my room because your boy, it's at it's 1030. It's a little late, but uh, yeah, I'm still doing this video for you guys. So let's go and get this thing going. All right, guys, so let's go and get this thing going. So I'm going to start off all the way from the start. And I'm going to tell you guys the dimensions that I'm using in today's video here today. Now, if I go to file new, of course, in Photoshop, we're going to be using in today's video is a 1920 by 1080p sort of resolution, right? So you guys already know this. What I would kind of base this off of is whatever camera you're using. Right now I'm using a 1080p by, you know, I can use, actually I don't, I should be using 1080p by 720p. That would be a little shorter on this, like, you know, the width area. But um, regardless, most of the probably people who are like really investing in whatnot, regardless, whatever your webcam resolution is, is what you're gonna wanna put in here. So if it's like 1080p, put 1080p by 720, you know what I mean? Um, cause 1920, it's not really, it's not really, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't quite matter that much, but you'll find out yourselves that you might have to like squeeze in a little towards the left, a little towards the right. It really just more, more or less just kind of copy the same as the that you have for your webcam. And then once you've done that, you can press okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with just like, no, we'll leave it like this. We'll just leave it white for now. Right? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to immediately make a new layer. Now, the reason being is because this is our documents creation size, right? But we want to make a size a little more easy to work with and uh, sort of like give you a better understanding, right? So I'll make a new layer right away. If I just fill it in with any color whatsoever, once you make that new layer, we're just plugging on this little thing right here or control shift N alt backspace is the option to quick fill something in, or if you really want to double click on it, color overlay or and then just like doesn't really matter right this this part does not matter whatsoever as long as you have a nice filled color in beside your background that's you know the same exact size as your actual document so if i press Control t on my keyboard now it brings up the free transform options so of course free transform and if i hold alt and shift while i click on a corner drag it right in and i'll say i'm going to work with a size right about here press enter now what's going to happen here is you shrink your size of the actual 1080p resolution now you have an actual screen that sort of uh kind of portrays that right so now you can say this is our template and this is the exact kind of size that i want to use so once you've done with this you can make a new layer just like so we're going to go over here to the shapes tab the rectangle tool is going to be using today's video and i'm gonna go ahead and just get as close as possible Click on that nice edge over here. Now, I think no matter what, you're always going to find yourself in that position where I was saying before, where you might have to move your overlay or something like that to the left, your webcam to the left a little bit, or squeeze it just a little bit because something's always off, right? But once you've done this, right, you can turn off your fill, which it all should, probably already is, but turn this off. You can just do so like so like this. Let me just turn this off for a second. Um, just so you can see, right? So the fill is, of course, what's in the inside the actual shape that we just created. However, we're turning that off by clicking on this little red dash line here. 
and then we're gonna turn on our stroke we're gonna make it black for you guys to actually see and i'm gonna go ahead and just take my stroke and make sure your stroke option is on a solid line right now if it's on a solid line you can just take this and put this on like 15 is 15 okay press enter 15 seems to be is that like how what thickness did i go i, I went about 15 in thickness um otherwise you're gonna have dotted lines you don't want dotted lines you don't want to have these kind of lines just make sure you have a solid solid line right so once you have this you can go ahead and just zoom out a little bit and kind of get yourself in a position where you're like okay oh jesus i didn't mean to do that all right i guess i gotta fix this again 15 now i'm not gonna be using black 15 enter please thanks i'll be using black i'm gonna choose on the top right here choose my actual color i believe the color i used was this color right here it's more of like a very like a uh, softish kind of uh bluish dark you can see you can kind of see it right it's more of like a black but with a blue accent right so i'm gonna press okay now i'm gonna make my background black because this white is hurting my eyes tremendously personally and boom okay let's make the background black also you can see what we're actually doing right when it comes to colors so now what I've done is we're gonna actually just first off do the depth part. So this little depth part here is what I'm talking about right here, where it has this really cool kind of, uh, just has a really, really nice vibe to it. Just, you can see the depth and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do this. Now, what I went ahead and did was I made a new layer and immediately I'm gonna make this layer and clip mask this layer to that rectangle that we just created. So I'm then gonna use the actual rectangle marquee tool. So not the actual rectangle tool, but the rectangle marquee tool. That way I can go over in here. Let's go inside. Right, we're gonna take this and kind of like kind of guess where the middle is technically I'm really just guessing right now guess where the middle is Bring it all the way down to the bottom right as well and then kind of figure out that this is pretty Pretty okay. This right here though is not very very good. I'm pretty sure someone tilted. I got you We're gonna fix it. That is the middle cool now for this color here I would always choose a little bit of a darker like a darker tone, right? So the color I'm gonna be choosing for this sort of little fill option here is gonna be this color right here with the hex uh, code being 0D0E0F, press OK. I can quick fill that in by holding control and backspace. I quick filled in that nice little color here. This is sort of creating a bezel for us or a bevel, whatever you wanna call it, whatever, really. It's almost like making it almost give it that nice cool depth 3D kind of thing going on here. So the reason why we're gonna be using layer styles here is because we wanna use a certain one. And I have a personal one I already have made for us. This one right here is one that I used in the video that you guys saw, or the preview that you guys saw in the beginning. So what I ended up using was bevel and embos. You can see that's pretty much the whole thing that gives us that nice, cool, sharp edges here. Um, besides actually having a stroke on, we can see this. It looks very, very nice. You can also see the weird sort of shadowy depth that you get in the top here. So if you look on the top corners, you can see what happens here. It just gives that really, really nice, clean depth. And all that kind of stuff right there is more or less what you're gonna be looking at when you look at the word quality or when you wanna get something nice and quality wise. It's really focusing on the actual just the, the feeling that you get when you look at the actual thing. Like you can see it looks really, really clean. Some people don't really know how to, I guess, perform that option, but it's not too hard whatsoever. So stroke is the other thing you're gonna be using, right? So you can see that like, it's a nice little kind of separation between the two depths of color. Um, inner shadow is basically kind of doing the same exact thing. And then last but not least, the outer glow is just a little bit to make the outside a little bit lighter. And if you did not have a clip mask, by the way, if you use my actual, uh, like I'm gonna give these these styles away. If you use my actual styles and you looks and yours looks like this, right? It's because you didn't clip mask it. So make sure you guys clip mask the actual layer that we just made beforehand to this rectangle right here and uh, clip mask just like so. All right, cool. So I think next up would be the actual secondly, like kind of hard part of this whole entire thing, which would be like these little cool, uh, like I said, I call them vents before. I was gonna call them vents again. So these little vents here is pretty much the only part that's kind of like a little bit other, like difficult part of this entire thing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, make a new layer. And I'm using the pen tool today's video, right? Or I'm using the pen tool. Don't, uh, why does this always pop up? <laughs> as soon as I go to close, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna close down for you, Jesus. All right, let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice little mid um, point here, perfect. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to say, we're gonna make ourselves a nice simple rectangle, right? Or a, how do you call it, a rhombus? Like, just something that looks like this. Um, Make sure it's there, that's there. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this line hits about there. Okay, connect these. Now, if you guys wanna know how I did this very, very easily. Okay, why is that? Uh... Okay, so it's not actually there. Okay, and I wanna delete that point just to, okay, please, please. I beg you to just let me delete this. It's not like Illustrator, like I was pressing minus, that's why I was being a little, being a little weird, but you can see how perfect I made sure that this actually was like the perfect, uh, I guess, 
diagonal line. So if you guys didn't know, if you hold shift on your keyboard, you can of course hold down and uh, you know go up and down and whatnot. You always have, you'll always have, excuse me, straight lines. Now, if you kind of figure out, like this is of course going all the way towards the right hand side, so it's kind of filling up that little space between the perfect line. But if you were to kind of like you know angle yourself, you will get that perfect. I believe it might be a 45 degree angle. So you can see you can get that every single time if you just kind of kind of hold where your mouse should be right when it gets that angle, that little angle so that's what i kind of did for that right there so that's why it's kind of perfect so if you guys want to do how to do that again so right if i just of course click here hold shift click and then hold shift click over here we get a nice little very very simple uh shape that way you kind of never get it wrong right so i'm gonna go ahead and with this shape now here i'm gonna make this maybe a little bit shorter just like so now already right, on this new layer i'm gonna fill this in with the color white that's fine oh see Oh, this is a pretty cool example. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might run into this example here. If you try to fill something in, and then all of a sudden something, for some reason, everything fills in besides this, what happens is, is you have to go up here, and I believe it's actually combine shapes. If you click on this, you see how it's on subtract? I believe if you press combine shapes, and now if I press go ahead and fill this path in with white, yep, it'll now fill it in. So if you guys ever run into that problem, that was a pretty cool little uh, problem to, to run into, because I know it happens to a lot of people, and some of you guys just have no clue how to fix it. So the second thing I'm gonna be doing is just giving myself a nice little triangle. What this little triangle here is gonna be actually representing is this little sort of, uh, I guess you would say like wrap. It feels like it's almost wrapping around this actual overlay here when you have these little extended things right here. So of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of freehand them and kind of give myself little triangles, just like so. I believe that's fairly accurate to the other one. This might be a little more skinnier on the bottom. So I'm gonna make this just a little more skinnier as well. And then with that being all done, quick fill this in with a nice white as well. And press Control H. If I zoom out now, you can see that has that really cool little vent-like look to it. Now what I can go ahead and do now is we'll just say we'll put one in the middle first. We'll put one about maybe 10 spaces in inches or whatever, 0 0.010 inches away. Um, and then if, by the way, the way I'm doing that, by the way, is holding Alt and Shift. So Alt and Shift, dragging it down and make sure it's at that nice, perfect ratio you can see how it kind of gives us that little guideline that's hey now this is perfect we're gonna let that go and that is now that so i can go ahead and just combine these layers i'll group them together first with Control g right and then Control j to make a duplicate of that group that you just combined in and then Control e is to merge the entire group together or you can right click uh merge group if you guys want to right so with this actual new group here we're going to call this left vents we're going to go and take this left vent hold alt and shift again and move it right over to the other side just like so and then we'll call this right then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we actually have little vents here. So uh, we kind of have this whole entire little thing here as well. Now I already think I already have, um, I forgot if I actually put the color into this as well. I did not. So what I'm going to have to do really quickly is basically give myself a color overlay and I'm going to choose this nice little blue. Like this is the part where we're going to be choosing the color. So I'm going to say this little baby blue here is going to be what I'm going to use for my primary sort of color along the entire, uh, the overlay itself, right? Um, we're gonna call it the webcam overlay. I keep saying overlay, but you know what I mean, right? Um, so the this hex code here is 38DDF0. It's not the same exact blue, but I'm sure it's close enough. I'm gonna copy this actual uh, layer stop with this on this one as well. I'm gonna then both of these merge them together, right? If you guys don't do that, make sure you guys do so because sometimes if you were to put other layers on them, they'll be hidden behind the color overlay, which is not good sometimes, right? So on the left vent styles, I believe I used this right here. So basically it's just a gradient overlay with a very simple black to white gradient with blend mode on overlay. Then of course I got bevel and embos again, just giving me that nice, very cool sort of a uh, almost metallic -y feel to it with the, the combination I have going on here. If you guys want to see 1000 depth, direction up, size one, soften 16, negative uh, 92 angle, uh, positive 17 altitude. Um, and then sort of 40% on a screen where that's white and then multiply black 60. Oh, I'm going to put it at 70 so it's very easy. And then 15 for that so it's very easy to kind of remember those kinds of numbers, right? So press OK. I'm going to do the same exact thing. So copy layer style onto the right vent just like so. Right now we have these really cool vents. Now these look super freaking cool. You can start to see how very clean and attractive this is actually starting to look. Now there's very, very few things I would add after this, right? You can see sort of very few things I personally added. One thing, of course you can see right away, is that little vent on the uh, left hand side. I'll call it a little extended point. I'll call it a little extended shape and whatnot, right? That shape right there is very like, it's not pointless in a way, but it kind of makes the, uh, even though it's all straight, it almost makes it feel like right here in this section here, it's almost like, like blown up a little bit like blown out like it just kind of feels that it's it's angled oddly but it's actually not everything's still straight i don't know if you guys mean right i mean like it's almost like a triangle right kind of like, see like a triangle composition 
Let me show you, because I, I feel like I'm talking to myself, and it's just like, what are you talking about, bro? I feel like it looks like that. My eyes kind of feel like it looks like this, even though it's really not. But uh, maybe your eyes can now kind of see what I'm looking at. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know, whatever. It's a, you, know, you don't have to always look at the way I look at it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give that myself that little shape there. So, very simply, just like, so I use this little halfway point here. The reason being is because I can then go ahead, right? And then I'll take on this new layer here, already right there. Fill this in with white, press OK. I can control H to rehide my rules that I just created. Alt and shift, drag it down, control T, right click, flip vertically, move this up to that middle point, arrow keys up, and now we have that little point right there as, uh, as well. So I'm gonna combine these two layers together, move them over a little bit because I don't wanna show like too much. And one that might, I might actually have to, uh, let's just press control U on a keyboard. What that's gonna end up doing is because on this white background here I don't want it to be excuse me on this white layer sort of shape that I got going on here I want it to be a little more gray tone So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my lightness drop this down just a little bit to Kind of match this nice little tone that's going on here. So I believe that's pretty good <laughs> I'm gonna press V on my keyboard to bring up the movement tool again. Alt shift drag it right over um, It didn't drag over but I still got like a duplicate and then we're gonna go ahead and fix this on that side too now. So, perfect. It looks pretty good so far. You can see it's very, very still, still, still super clean and whatnot. Um, I believe one thing I'm gonna do as well is kind of give that these two shapes their own little white shapes as well. So, on this shape here, we'll make a new layer, clip and mask this new layer onto that vent. Take this middle one, pen tool it out just like so. Right, and then on this pen tool, we just make sure we right click, fill, and make it white just like so. And that can do, I can do the same exact thing on the other side by just simply dragging one over. Put in this over here, clip mask it, and then make sure that's white as well. So just you need to you know pencil both of them or just use that same one and clip mask the other side of it. So now we have a little bit of white here. Looks pretty cool still. Um, one thing right here feels kind of empty in a way is kind of this little outline that I kind of did, right? So if you guys want to know how to do that, very simply, just all I did was make a new layer. Now I'm gonna go to do it just very simply, just kind of zoom in a little bit, like pretty close, not a little bit. But I'll say like, I believe that's about one or two pixels wide in that angle here. You can kind of see this is one pixel here, two pixels. So that kind of width, uh, width right there is what I'm working with. And I let go on accident, Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this just like so, make it two pixels on each side. I believe two pixels, two pixels, and then two pixels, two pixels. So it's, nope, this other side is actually like a lot more than two, you idiot. Let's just make this two pixels. And then over should be two pixels too. Um, please, one more. It's uh, it's a little tedious. I'm trying to get it two pixels and whatnot wide, or even one pixel might be good as well. Um, how's that? I could use a grid, by the way. I know that, but I'm not. I'm just eyeballing it because I did this before, and I kind of know where it should at least be. In that sense, this one right here, I believe one of these are too uh, far apart. So I'm gonna press enter really quickly, right? I'm gonna just quick fill a color in really quick. So I kind of have it. It's already quick filled. I'm gonna have to move this little thing once over to the right. Please and thank you. There we go. I believe that's now the correct size. If not, I'm not sure why it looks odd, right? You kind of see how this looks. That's three pixels over, of course, right? And then this one is three as well, right? So I don't know why. It was kind of, it, it looks a little bit weird, but kind of, you kind of get the whole gist of it. I'm gonna choose this color here to be the blue that we were working with before. I can just simply take my rectangle marquee tool again, this little one, uh, little marquee tool right here, and then kind of highlight over everything and just kind of delete the inside because we don't want to see the inside at all, really. Um, you can kind of see now it's kind of just uh, this one side that's kind of like being a little bit of a nuisance. Um, it's not allowing me either. What if I zoom in? All right, there we go. Okay, so I couldn't do that before. All right, so there. Now we kind of have that nice little kind of ratio going on here. So you can do now, he's gonna rasterize his layer, not clip mask it, rasterize it. Take your eraser, a nice soft brush eraser, meaning if I right click, take whatever size you kind of wish to, but make sure your hardness is pretty much at zero, right? So once you've done that, you can just kind of take your eraser. What did I erase really? I erase more or less kind of like over here, over here over here now you can make this even if you just did one side and then copy the actual side over again but i'm gonna say whatever and kind of like freely kind of do it but kind of give myself a little bit of a direction right and I'll move this one squeeze that over and that over as well and what that kind of like little light kind of does for us kind of give us a like a kind of just makes it a little more bolder but not 
like so much, right? It doesn't feel like it's like uh, super over whatever. It doesn't feel like it's kind of going crazy and whatnot, right? So essentially, we're pretty much done in the sense of the actual baseline stuff, like little things like I did here. All you really have to do is kind of just, you know, let's just click on where it is. If I hold control, if I select places, you can see my over on the right hand side, it'll tell me exactly where that is if I hold control. So there's a little thing if you guys know how to do that. But that means that's that layer right there. So anything I want to put on this, all I gotta do is click on it, make a new layer. It should be clip mask automatically because I have this already above it. Take my pen tool, click over here, click over here, hold shift, hold shift again. I don't have to hold shift. I'll just click up and connect it. And then we'll make this white and then drop that down. Excuse me, delete that path. And I'll give myself one, two, three, just like so. I'll take this, copy it over by holding alt shift and dragging it, flip it vertically to make sure it's the same axis and then put it's somewhere kind of where it was before right so you can see it looks it just kind of gives it like almost a little bit of a i don't know just a nice little touch to it honestly if i just lower this opacity down a little bit and uh that looks pretty good i like it so uh, basically we're pretty much done right in the sense of like actually having this entire thing but oh also the actual uh this right here so what i'm going to do is i'm press so hq the font that i use i believe let's take this off put this above everything the font that i used was choose a blue here was a uh, urine urine near them, whatever it's a really cool font if you guys don't have it already uh, let's go ahead I don't know why it's something selected let's shrink this down a little bit now the actual layer so that I use for the actual text to make it look super super good was actually the same exact layer style we used to actually create these little cool little vents so if I just click over here again styles excuse me click right here give myself that very simple same exact layer style and it looks oh, it looks so freaking clean Jesus. Okay. So last but not least is sort of something that if you don't want to have your name floating on the actual thing itself, whatever, right? Or if you have a cool little logo, I think doing this might look pretty cool. So if you kind of combine everything in a group, so it basically click in the first layer, right? Holding shift, click in the last layer. That's pretty much anything that actually counts. Control G to group it all together. Now you have everything in one little group. Now what we can do is control J to make a duplicate, control E to merge it all together. And now you have your overlay in one simple uh, kind of layer, right? So that's, what's gonna happen here is you can go ahead and now, I'm gonna quickly find where my logo is in this thing here, drag this, put this over here, right? Cause I wanna have my logo in the, this little top right corner. Maybe you have a logo, maybe you don't, maybe you have like a letter, whatever concept you might have. Um, maybe you need to get a logo, right? <laughs> your boy. Um, but yeah, seriously, right? If you have a logo here, what you can do now is on this overlay, since this is now one group, you can go ahead and you can take the circle ellipse tool if you guys want to. Uh, excuse me let's go ahead and use this ellipse tool first the actual ellipse tool hold alt and shift when you click make that nice little circle right there and i'll give myself a nice little stroke at a size of one pretty good right and i'll just take this shrink this down just a little bit i want to use that blue on this line right here this stroke line let's go ahead and change this to that nice little blue that we have going on go like right here right please let me click on it oh i have to click on the actual layer whoops then click on it oh this is the layer jesus okay we kind of we don't worry process of elimination uh, okay so now on this overlay what i can do is when i use the ellipse tool now not the actual tool um the actual just sort of excuse me the marquee tool not the actual ellipse tool to make a circle just a marquee tool to get that selection what we're going to do is we can click on the overlay with that circle here press delete now you kind of have this nice little emptiness right where the circle starts and you kind of have your logo just kind of right there, right in the middle. Looks pretty damn cool. Now, other things you can do before is what I said before, right? If you guys were to you know, do the rectangle and stuff like that, but we're going to use the ellipse tool, make a new layer right below this actual uh, circle ellipse, right? You can just go ahead, alt, shift, hold it just like so. Make a nice little, a little bit of a bigger circle, right? What you can do now is if you want to do something a little bit different, you can change this stroke option to something like this, maybe. I believe I did this last time. No, I actually def I definitely did this. Now what I can do might is a little bit like just maybe like this hold on what the heck oh uh, let's just go with like two enter that's pretty good <laughs> all right so make this a little bit bigger just like that let's go ahead and just maybe miss it. let's make this a little bit bigger like four okay four is pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this a little smaller just so i don't want to hit this here um it's gonna have to be like that perfect so so you can do something like this right if i rasterize this layer now this little circle take my eraser shrink this down erase this side here this right here 
Now we can have a little cool little, uh, almost, it kind of looks like a cool little tech kind of thing. I don't know. I think personally it looks pretty dang cool. And uh, that's pretty much the identical copy of what I did right here. Um, there's almost nothing that I did differently, actually, so, besides change the color of this. But that's fine. This works out. So hopefully you guys do uh, enjoy the video here today. So I, there's no way in hell that this is not better than this. I, I, I honestly think if you have something like this, yo, change it. I promise you, you're going to have a great time. You're going to look so much more cleaner, professional. And if you're still using it like overhead, like HUD overlays, Please, for the love of God, get rid of those. Um, there, there's a reason why you don't see them very often, and there's a reason why. Just don't, just don't use it. Be, let me help you out real quick. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. So do not forget to leave a like, guys, if you guys enjoyed. Uh, of course, right? And uh, yeah, just maybe tweet me anything you guys want to see me do. Um, personally, if you have anything that you might have done and you guys use my tutorial off of, please tweet at me. I would like to see your variation of it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. So SwitchQ is my Twitter. If you guys want to follow me at SwitchQ. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dip out now because it's kind of late and your boy needs to still edit and do a lot of. It's sad. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna get going. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. Ciso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Productive, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> later.